Hey everybody, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio, and I have a project, well, sort of. I have a purchase that I made at um, online, on uh, Amazon, yes, that place. <laughs> and it came today. I'm very surprised. Now, what I thought was or I was ordering was, this was made for clothing, but it says, upholstery. This is leather. These are scrap pieces of leather that companies are selling to people like me who need a little bit of leather for this, that, and the other. And I don't want to buy a whole bunch of colors. So they packaged it up. I think it's one, and it says one pound, but this says 1.4 pounds. So it's a little larger than what they said, which doesn't break my heart. Now, what would break my heart is if it was smaller. Oh, look, there's a... Oh, my gosh, look at that. That's cool. Like fake snake. Oh, let's see the leather shop. Dear customer, thank you for your purchase. Hoping you're satisfied with the leather. As seen on the scale tag, we have added a couple of extra ounces in order to make you happy. Well, I would have taken it just one pound. Um, it would be greatly appreciated if you leave five-star feedback on the post and some pictures of the items you made. This will help our business prosper and is greatly appreciated. Thanks. Since we have a huge stock of all kinds of leather at discount prices, please email your needs to infoableleather.com. We will be more than happy to serve you. Thanks again. Well, that's nice. And then they give you these two little sampling things. This is their, this is cute. That is their business card. Is that cool or what? Okay, so this leather was ordered for two reasons. I have some leather, ooh, oh, 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 oh my, oh, green on the back, whoa. I have leather, oh, they glued it. It's been glued, oh darn. Um, I have leather already, but I wanted leather that was thin, like, really thin so I can cut it on my die cut machine. The leather that I have now is thick and I don't think it's going to cut through there. Oh, it said I was only going to get dark colors. Oh, look at this. This is white. Oh, white? Get out. Oh, it's kind of thickish. Oh my. Oh, and it feels fabulous. Oh, the things I can do. Okay, so there's that one. Then we have the green that's been fused because I like the green sides better than the brown side. What a shame. Here is some more white leather. And it's very thin, not like this stuff that's fuzzy on one side. The, well, this is fuzzy on one side, but I don't. it's not the same type. This is like a wrinkly pattern. This is more like a pebbly pattern, I guess. You could say pebbly. What I was looking for was more black. This is a dark brown. Then there is a kind of a taupey brown. Oh, that feels so good. And it's so thin. Thank you very much for thin leather. What about this one? Thin, but not thin enough, I don't think. We'll, we'll see when I go to run it through my machine. Now, this is not the same thickness, I don't think, of the leather that I already have. Then there's more of a kind of a, I don't know, a tanny, a tan gray. Oh, this is definitely gray. And it's got that that um, pebble texture, like the white. Oh my, this feels so lovely. <gasps> it doesn't exactly smell like leather because I, I, it's got some kind of stuff on it. Treat, it's treated, I guess. Yeah, it smells like... Um, tack it over it. No, it smells like uh, Fabri-Tac because they glued some of these together and it has a funky smell to it. And this is that wrinkled white leather that was in the small piece that I looked at earlier. All right, and then there's more brown and this is a thinner brown, which I think I will be able to use. And then there is this taupey brownish color, and this is definitely thin. 
I don't think it's had anything glued onto it. It's it's really thin, which makes me very happy. These will make great book covers. But the main reason why I ordered this leather was for a project that I am currently working on. Let me show it to you. I'm not going to go through the whole whole project right now. There's just not I'm not set up to do that today. So I saw I saw a I don't know, I think it came from someone's blog, tutorial on how to make suitcase paperweights. So here it is. Here is my suitcase paperweight. This leather that's on here is too thick for what I need it for. It made a great handle. And I probably should not have used it on this, but I was in such a hurry and so enthusiastic about it that I went ahead and did it. Um, ordinarily, I would put feet on this, but this is meant to hold down paper for when you 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 got four corners or something they're starting to curl. Then you put this down. Did, my husband, I was going to cut this, but he went in and did it for me. There are two pieces of wood that are glued together with wood glue, and then you um, stain it, paint it, scuff it up, whatever you want to do with it. It does not have to be pretty because remember it's a it's a suitcase, and the way they treat things at <laughs> the airport, bless their hearts, they work so hard, but uh, their hard work takes a toll on your luggage. So the picture, that the thing that I used is the suitcase had travel things on it. So I went to the sticker drawer, and I looked, and darned if I didn't have a few stickers that had city names on them. I did cannibalize some stickers that were like, big pictures of something but that had the country name on it all I wanted was the name so I've got Italy the word journey Venetia and Spain and on the back it says trip Sydney and there's the Sydney Opera House that belonged on there and this uh, little sailing guy surfer came off of something else and I covered up the Buddha with the strap which was probably ill-advised but you know so then I cut a smaller end off of this and um, I took a hole punch, a leather punch, put two holes just manually through the little tab of leather, then pounded in furniture tacks to hold it down. So this is not finished. Let me show you number two. This is block number two and it really is very rough. It's not meant to be beautiful and pristine. Here's all the stickers from the things. This is the Buddha that I covered up on the other suitcase. Spain, Egypt, and there's that surfing guy from Australia. Don't you know? <laughs> you know, <laughs> husband's outside using the weed eater, gonna replant our garden. Dogs are outside, so the phone rings. <laughs> It never fails. That's why I record at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. when I have insomnia. That's why I record then, because no one's calling here at 2 a.m. And if they do, um, they're going to get earful from me. And then um, the, dog and the, the dogs and the husband are asleep. I swear. Okay, where did I leave off? Yes. Anyway, so I put all the travel stickers on here, and I did cannibalize some. And this says Sydney, and it says the word journey, and there's a... Um, this is the Big Ben clock. These are just suitcases. Anyway, so this needs leather around like this one has, and it needs the leather handles. But there is a part that's going to go on all these corners. When I looked at the woman's tutorial, I thought they were metal book corners. Well, my friend Cindy was sending me metal book corners. I couldn't wait to get them, so I thought, oh, that's what she used. Oh, no, she did not. I'm still excited about the book corners. But that's not what the woman used, so I had ordered skinny leather because I think what she did was is she took and cut or did it with a die cut, a circle, cut a slit in the circle, and then it goes around the corners like it like old suitcases used to have those metal, those gold or brass uh, pieces on the corners to keep your suitcase from getting scuffed up. And 
I can't, I looked all over Etsy, the internet, everywhere and couldn't find any of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my die machine and die cutting machine and I'm going to cut some of this skinny brown leather that I got today and see if my theory works that she was just cutting round circles with a slit in them so that they would fold around the corners. And that's the last thing to do to this one. Then I'll take that same leather for the handle, the straps, you know, do the corners, put the tacks in, and then this one will be done. So I will have two more paperweights to add to my collection to hold down large pieces of paper when I need something not to roll up because my uh, paint paper that I spread out on my desk, I keep it. In, I keep it rolled up in a. Well, I'll show you. It, this is the reason why I keep it rolled up like this, and that's what these are meant for: is to hold down the corners so that the paper doesn't roll up. Um, so that's why I made these. I thought these were just bloody adorable. I love these things. They're so cute. So I made two. Um. Yes, I stopped at two. <laughs> Doesn't mean I won't go off the deep end later with something close to these. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, so this was just a quick little video about these. Let me go get the die machine and see if it works. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece of leather and cut it like a butter. And this is the tiniest little circle die I have. It's meant to be a Christmas tree ornament, but I will trim off the edges of it. I'm going to lay it on here. I'm going to run it through the machine probably a couple times to see how well it does, and I'll be right back. All right. It did not cut all the way through. It made a lovely impression, but it did not cut all the way through. So that one's not going to work. Which one did I cut it off of? I cut it off of this. I think this one might be about the same thickness as this one right here. Do I have any other brown? I have some other brown, but I kind of wanted it to match the straps. But it looks like these might all be the same thickness, which means the plan's not going to work. So what are we going to do? Um, let me cut off a piece of this corner right here as soon as I find the scissors. There we go. And see if it'll work on this piece, because this, this one does feel a little bit thinner than some of the other pieces. So let me cut just a little corner off of here. Nope, that's a straight edge. Let's not do that. Okay, let's cut a little corner off of this one. And I ran it through three laps, so that's three. That makes six up and backs. That's for you swimmers. <laughs> I did three laps. All right, let's put this in here and see how we do with this one. I have a um, Sizzix big kick that was gifted to me because everybody made fun of my cuddle bug. <laughs> okay, let's see. Six times, huh? Man, I'm going to build up some really great muscles with this thing. I don't think this is going to work either, but, you know, it never hurts to try. No. But it does leave a good impression to where I think that I can cut much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It made a nice little indentation in the leather. So I can cut it in the circle. I think other dies will go through leather. I just don't happen to have very many of those kinds, and none of them are circles. Okay, so let's take this away. Put this... I don't know where we're going to put this. My desk is so full of stuff. Alright, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut... I think she made a cut so that it opens like this. And then she glued it on the corner. Let's see if that's going to work. It will, but I'm going to need to cut a little out of the circle because it doesn't quite meet on the edge. 
and brown in the dark does not go well for cutting. Let's take the little pie piece out. Let's go backwards. Get it with a smaller pair of scissors that I cannot find. All right, so we'll just use this. Okay, so let's see if this works. We're going to put this around, and then we're going to glue it down on the corners. I think that is going to work. Well, I'll be darn. Look at that. <gasps> it works! <laughs> That's outstanding. I love it. Uh, let me cut it a little further inside. Cut off that little booger right there. I need a smaller pair of scissors, and I have a smaller pair of silver scissors that you saw. Here they are, under all the rubble. All right, let me glue this and see if this actually works with a bottle of glue that's yet under the rubble. Ah, here it is. Okay, this is PVA. This is not really meant for this kind of stuff, but I am going to give it ye old college try. Let's put the glue here. And since leather, the backing on leather is porous, which is the tan side of the hide, the fuzzy side. Let's put this on here and see if we can make it work. Because I cut a large part out of the... Oh, look at that. Oh, I am super excited. How's that for a corner piece? Well, it'd be better if I like put my finger on it and let the glue dry. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not as thick as this stuff, but it does stick up a little bit where you can see it, you know, where you can see that it's not flush, but this is the best I could do. And I really do like it. All right, so let me go and finish the rest of these. Then I'll come back and show you everything that's finished. I have finished both suitcases. Here is the purple one with the leather on all eight corners. This is the bottom. You're not going to do anything with the bottom. Why is that white there? Oh, that's glue. <laughs> okay. I didn't see that. I just glued these on. Same leather as the little corners and this is also the same leather as the little corners. So you can pick up your little paperweight suitcase. Isn't that cute? I don't know who came up with this idea but it's outstanding. Then I put them all on this one. This one's all done. And there you go. There are two suitcase paperweights that you can make. I will link the um, tutorial. It's not a moving tutorial. It's basically uh, written on a blog with photos. She gives you a list of supplies and everything that you'll need to do this with. The um, I think she even tells you what kind of leather to use, but evidently <coughs> I didn't read the instructions. I just looked at the pictures. Um, so I will give you the link for these guys and then go make some because they are so cute. Oh, and if you need any spare leather. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.